Today we're checking out all the incredible design tools and resources of November 2022. We have a new 3D tool, we have a new animation tool for your phone, we have an AI based tool which can do everything for you, we have a new font from a very famous company and so much more in today's video. Also today we're sponsored by the like button so make sure you hit the like button, share the video, comment below, whatever you can do to support the channel, it's all free. Awesome, so this news was going viral all over the world. Notion is the tool for designers when it comes to documentation, note taking, etc. They now have a AI based feature. It allows you to quickly define you what you want to write down and it writes it down for you. For example, if you want to brainstorm an idea with your design team or product team, you can literally say, hi, I want to brainstorm. I want to brainstorm on this topic, this is the problem, and it will give you interesting ideas around that problem statement. I think that in itself is crazy. Apart from that, it's also giving you a lot of grammar fixing and grammar tools. It can even create summaries of your documentation so as to summarize something, and it can also translate from different languages. This could be a life-changing feature because I personally use Notion on a daily basis. And I see this as a life saver. Let me know in the comments if you use Notion as well. Now, this was a tool that we discovered last year on this channel called Womp. And after a year, they're finally releasing the tool. Now, this tool will be able to create 3D artifacts. I'll put up a little video, promo video in the background. Uh, quick 3D artifacts for your UI designs, for your 3D projects, whatever you like. Now, they're also targeting stuff like 3D printing and, you know, digital production. Now, apart from that, you can even animate stuff. And the fact that it's still in alpha mode shows that there's a lot of more potential as well. I, I would love to see a world where tools like Spline, Womp rule the 3D space uh, and give designers like us a chance to design in 3D. Lottie Files is now on your phone. Yes, now you can generate Lottie based artifacts, animations, etc right on your phone. They even have a sticker library, so you sticker fans out there will get a lot of boost out of this. The best part is they have given a part of the editor on the phone, so you'll be able to quickly change colors, etc on the go. Of course, you won't get the entire editor feature set on the phone, but most essential basic features you will be getting. And export is there as well. So if you decide you want to pick up an animation and export it as a JSON for your project, it's ready on the phone. I mean, go check it out. It's a free app on your phone. It's a lot of fun, except for being a design tool on your phone. It's also a lot of fun to just use it on the web or on Instagram or something. Wow, this is the tool that I've been waiting for for almost a year now. It's called Magician and it's finally in its beta phase. That means anybody can install it. And if you have an invite, you'll be able to quickly get started. In like three days, it already has 9.8 thousand installs on Figma and a bunch of likes as well. Now, what it allows you to do is quickly type in anything and it creates custom icons custom copywriting material or UX writing material, as well as text to image, which I feel a lot of other tools do, but this does it extremely well because they're building everything from ground up. This is not one of those gimmicky AI tools, which kind of work. It also allows you to find images quickly. So unlike, unlike using Unsplash, where you search for something and you have to search for a hundred images, here you just describe that image and it will give you an exact image based on that description. I think that in itself is a huge deal. Now they've created a little playground on Figma. So if you want to play around with this, test this out, hopefully in the future, it'll be able to design UI designs for you as well. Now GitHub is the go-to company for developers and also web designers alike. Now they have taken out their own font, which I kind of am in love with. It's called Mona and Hubo Sans. Now these two fonts have a bunch of variations and they work something like this. I love it. And the best part is this font is ready to go and free. So you can just download the font and you'll have the source folders right here. On their website, you can check out how it looks with different uh, widths, heights, uh, as well as the slant. And boy, does it look really good. I mean, GitHub is turned, turned around to be a design company as well and not just a developer company. I think it's really cool. Hey, I'm going to start using this font everywhere. Even this video's thumbnail, this font. Check it out. So I shared this next one with my girlfriend Simran since she's an illustrator and she had a lot of good things to say about it. Basically teaches you how to illustrate and draw stuff out on paper using your phone's camera. For one, I'm not a very good artist, 
but i feel designers always love doing stuff on paper so i think this will teach you a lot about how to draw and this is a learning tool which no other tool can compete with i mean you can even edit a lot of cool stuff uh, you can create your own canvases etc in ar and then you you can even convert like your drawings into this uh you know digital format and then you know draw around and play around with it i think that's really cool as well this next platform is named as if it's a dating sim it's called lovers magazine this platform is basically interviewed 400 plus ux designers product designers designers in general from different companies from all across the globe learned about their stories about how they got into design how they progressed and basically you can learn so much from their journeys and not only is it design interviews they've also collected these designers inspirations so they have an, a unique inspiration wall on their website as well and apart from interviews and inspiration they also have something called mixes designers love listening to music so they've basically collected 400 plus uh, playlists from these designers and they've placed it up here so these are basically spotify playlists that you can try out and you can st start listening to them. So these are actual mixes of these designers right here. I think that's pretty insane. Now this is probably one of the highest quality illustration builders built inside Figma for completely free. It's a $0 premium for this amazing illustration library come builder. So basically what you'll be able to do is pick and drag and drop into a builder inside Figma. I'll put a little video in the background so you can see it in action. But this actually has 300 individual components for different kinds of purposes and ideas and you can combine them. Look at this Fig Jam kind of illustration they've built here. Look at where my mouse is. It looks exactly like Fig Jam. I think it's awesome it's free of cost but if you want to support the artist i suggest just drop in a dollar or two it help it helps these people a lot last illustration pack for the day i promise 3d illustration constructor for figma and as you can see on screen there is glass metal plastic clay all these different materials being used in these 3d illustrations so you have so many variations i mean if i'm scrolling down you can see the variations right here now you can get a preview file with a few variations for figma for free as well as some pre-built scenes which is i think very helpful designers need to screen record every screen recording goes to somebody important now this screen recorder is unique because it also has kind of an editor built in which is a very lightweight editor once you start and end recording you can then quickly edit the recording at the end of the recording you can add a background you can change aspect ratio perspective you and, and the backgrounds are really cool they're not just colors they're gradients etc you can even cut and crop the video to your liking you can even change the size of the cursor that was moving around when you were recording the video i think that is really cool for product demos etc for videos like these as well i think that'll be really really awesome i think we're addicted to design systems every designer loves talking about design systems this start design system is a website dedicated to help you getting started learning design systems getting resources getting uh, kits etc for design systems so they have videos to learn from uh, they also have resources so pre-built or specially built resources for design systems as well as events for design systems so not just the figma design system event which is called schema but all the different design system events going all across the world that was it for today's video i hope you like this series if you do share like all that good stuff people i will see you every week same time same place so until next time take care god bless